Good evening everyone. It's currently Thursday the 5th of December and I'm in the flat and it's so weird because you haven't really experienced this flat at all. Like obviously I did a moving vlog video type thing. Let's see if I can get some more light in here. Oh that's a harsh light but we're gonna go with it. So yeah, I did like the, the move-in vlog, well, the empty flat tour, and then I'm going to do a tour of the flat. We are just waiting on a few more things. We need to get some curtains, um, and there's something else, or some cushions as well. So yeah, you haven't really seen this flat, but I just want to vlog. Like, I've been putting off for ages, and I just think, if I don't start, I'm never going to start. So that is what I'm doing right now on this random Thursday evening. I have tomorrow off, it's my one day off um, in the space of like nine or something. Like I'm working for one off working for, which is a bit rubbish, but never mind. Uh, so yeah, this is our flat. So when I do these weekly vlogs, this is where we're gonna be. This is the bedroom. I need to shut that blind actually. Um, and basically I'm having a really chilled out night tonight. Uh, Stephen is out, he does some coaching uh, on a Tuesday and Thursday, yep, and uh, I'm in the living room right now, I'm going to make a cup of tea though because I'm actually a wee bit chilly, and I have a like a short dressing gown, that pink one probably that you can remember me wearing maybe, um, and I don't know where it is, like it's not in the wash and it normally hangs on like a door and I can't find it. So I'm a bit confused. I feel like I was wearing it a couple of nights ago because basically Sunday afternoon into yesterday morning we didn't have any heating. Uh, there was like some issue in the Falkirk area, which is the sort of area that we're living in. And lots of houses, 8,000 houses were without heating and we were one of them. Um, it really wasn't too bad. Like I just went and showered at my mum's and dad's and um, I had a couple of nights that Stephen helped me like wash my hair in the bath and things like that. And really like in the grand scheme of it, as I was saying to everyone, like there's elderly people, there's babies, like Stephen and I can put on a couple of jumpers and we're fine. Um, so it wasn't too bad, but it was quite nice last night to come back in to a warmer house um, and to have a nice warm shower. So yeah, that was the start of the week. I think we're going to be getting a little bit of compensation for that from uh, SGN, which I believe are Scottish Gas Network, something like that. Um, so yeah, that'll go into our energy account, I believe. I don't know, I'm still like working out all this flat bill situation. It's kind of like getting your head around it all, but uh, it's working well so far and it's um, a really nice wee flat. We're really, really happy and I can't believe that I live with my boyfriend. Like, how did that happen? When did I get so grown up? Um, anyway, this is our wee home. I love the living room so much. As you can see, I was watching Outlander, which I think I might go back to. Um, but then I just like kind of sat on this couch for a bit and I was just sitting on my phone watching YouTube videos and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to pick up the camera. As I say, if I don't start, then I'm never going to start. And I'm actually thinking that maybe tonight when Stephen gets in, we will put up the tree. So I kind of thought it would be a good night to start this as well. Um, but yeah, I need to go and like clear a lot of footage from this camera because it's pretty full. Um, I need to put this washing away, which is here as well, and I'm going to make a little cup of tea. So I'll catch up with you in a bit once I have done those things. <laughs> So I am currently using this tin that I got over in Uist uh, when I was, I think when I was last visiting, maybe in the summer. So basically there was tea in it and it was really nice tea, but it's now filled with a good old Yorkshire brew. And there's my oats as well. Because uh, basically I loved the, the tea tin and I really wanted to keep it. And we also have like the tea coffee sugar thing, but I just really like the way that looks. So that's where I keep my tea. So I've made a nice big mug tonight in my cat mug. And uh, I've put a wee spoonful of sugar in there, just a wee one this size, which is like a tiny teaspoon. Because I don't have anything sweet in tonight and I'm craving a little bit of sweetness. So that's what I'm going to have. I'm just going to like brew this for a few more minutes and then I'm going to pop in my milk and go and get cosy. While my tea's brewing, I wanted to show you these little decorations that I got for the tree. Um, so basically there's a shop down near where I work that sells really nice unique stuff. So I got this, which is like six cones. 
and then the two little acorns as well these were 50 pence each and i believe this was like three or four pounds uh, so they will be added to the tree although i don't think they're going to go with any of the other decorations but to be honest the tree this year is a work in progress because it's like the first year we're going to have it up and it's probably going to be a mess but it's going to be fine we're just going to roll with it um and we've got our little hotel chocolat advent calendars this is the one for two that my mum got us so Stephen and I both have this one and then this one was from my friend Jasmine so I have this one Stephen doesn't get any of that <laughs> but basically that's where they sit um, and yeah I'm going to pop these on the tree once we get the tree up I'm about to get cosy with my cuppa let's see if I can like turn this light off I've got like a million and one things going on here uh, but yeah and I'm trying to get this blanket on my shoulder as well which is ridiculous so let's see if we can make it the chair oh that was close nearly spelled the d all right so i'm nice and cozy i'm on my comfy seat with my feet up my little poofy uh, and i've got my cup of tea an outlander as you can see and basically i'm just gonna chill and drink my mug of tea watch an episode of outlander while i'm 18 minutes into one also what is this here <laughs> it was totally winding me up uh, so yeah, I'm going to finish this episode, it's season 1 episode 3, we're just like re-watching it from the beginning, well Stephen and I were, but now I'm kind of doing it on my own, um, and then after that I'll deal with the washing, but for now I'm going to relax and enjoy my cover. So I have been doing some Christmas wrapping, uh, these two here are for Stephen's sisters, um, so theirs are done and they've got like the wee North Pole stamp on them. And then these ones are just wrapped with some ribbons and some cute little stickers because they are all for Stephen's parents. And basically like last year I did them like a hamper but this year um, Stephen's not taking the presents over because he's actually spending Christmas with my family. Um, so I want to have something that's a bit smaller and easier for his mum to take over. She's coming this weekend. Um, so what I'm going to do is put all these in a wee stocking basically um instead and hopefully that'll be okay although this one's a little bit bulky but never mind so they're all wrapped and ready to go so yeah we just need to get our tree up i think we might put it here we're going to put away this heater um that was for when the gas was off but yeah probably put it here and then everything underneath it'll be very cute so yeah that's pretty much it now i need to tackle this washing in the background but i'm gonna say good night for now and i'll see you tomorrow uh when i think stephen and i are gonna put up the tree good morning everyone it's currently friday the 6th of december and i'm about to open my advent calendar please ignore this i have no idea what's happening with my hair but anyway uh let's find number six this is how the hotel chocolate one looks on the inside it's really pretty um and obviously the quality of the chocolate is just incredible because it's hotel chocolate. So yeah, I'm going to open this up. It says, time to hunt for last year's wrapping paper. You know, that's quite appropriate because I was actually wrapping presents last night, as you would have seen. Um, but I used a new paper. This year I've used brown recyclable paper so that we can put it in the recycling. So that's quite good. And then I'm just putting like stickers on it and uh, stamps and things like that. I can't get this out. And here we have it. It's a little reindeer. It's very, very cute. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to eat this right now and then I'm going to start making some breakfast. So I'm going to have a cup of tea and I'm going to have some scrambled eggs. <laughs> So I am brewing my tea in the most adorable cat mug ever. Well look at it, it's so cute and it says check me out. Uh, so yeah, this is my little concoction here. I have got egg, so two eggs, a dash of milk, salt and pepper and I'm basically just going to pour this in this pan. This is a non-stick pan which is the key here. Uh, otherwise scrambled eggs are just a nightmare but this is perfect so i'm going to turn it on and i'm going to get started and keep an eye on it and they should be ready quite quickly and there we have it scrambled eggs on toast and i've popped some cheese on top i just really fancied a little bit of cheese and some pepper and then i've got my cup of tea so yeah i'm just going to sit here and enjoy my breakfast with our cute little flat view it's pretty nice out there we've got a lovely tree 
it's bare <laughs> and yeah I'm just gonna relax and enjoy my breakfast so I'm just sitting finishing off my cup of tea uh, and I'm watching YouTube it's like my absolute favorite thing to do in the morning so it's on my phone and I'm just watching at the moment a Christmas gift guide um, but yeah this is our kitchen uh, I've got quite a few dishes here that I need to do but do you know what it's a really cute wee kitchen the interesting thing is that when we viewed the property the kitchen was like my least favorite room i just didn't really like it because there was a really big table here they had this massive table that that came right out and made the kitchen look so small but we just got this kind of black one that's like a, a fold up one so that if we have guests we can make it bigger but all in all it just does the two of us and it's the perfect little size it was from ikea um, and i just really love the wee kitchen now like it's stinky but it's just what we need and the door's over here fridge is here with the microwave on top um so yeah and i just love like this little view when i sit here and i don't know i'm really fond of this room now the the room that i like the least actually is the bathroom because it doesn't have any natural light um but all in all this flat has so much light through it like every room is just so bright because it's like on the corner it's a really nice like layout really quirky layout so yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish my cup of tea and watch some YouTube um, and I'll probably catch up with you later on in the day to tell you what I'm up to. Alright, I'm currently fluffing up the tree. Like, you know when you take it out of the box and all the different bits are tight together and you need to go around the whole tree and it takes forever? Um, you know, ideally I want a real tree, but the thing is that we're on the top floor flat, so actually getting it out would be a bit of a drama. Um, although we could actually chuck it out like the balcony thing we've got behind me. But anyway, first step is essentially getting the tree out of the box, flipping it up and then finding the best angle to have to the front. And then we can start to get the lights on. Alright, I have wrapped the tinsel and I actually really like it. Uh, I forgot, I had it in my head it was gold, but we've actually got like this kind of rose gold and then red with the rose gold, which works really well. I've got some red on the bottom. So yeah. It's looking very pretty. Kind of ran out of tinsel at the top, but I feel like that kind of works as well because that's the area that you want to be quite relaxed and chilled out. So I'm just finishing putting the baubles on. I've put all of these nice ones that I got, acorn and the little pine cones, and then like I've just some of them have just rested on the tree. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish it off. It's gonna look so nice at night. It's hard to tell right now because there's so much light in this room. Um, but yeah, I got Stephen to help me put the star on because I can never get it on. It was like quite floppy, but we fixed it. So yeah, I am going to finish popping on these baubles and then that is a good job done. And then I need to hoover and put all of my gifts under the tree. So here we go. It's finished. I've got some presents under the tree and all the baubles are on and I'm watching um Oh, what's that show? The one with all the funny videos. You've been framed. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I'm going to come a bit further back so you can see. I just think it looks gorgeous. And I really didn't think that I like these baubles, but I've changed my mind. I think they really go with the room. Like, we have a lot of brown, so we're bringing that in. Like, brown and red. Um, and yeah, I just think it's perfect. So yeah, I've got that. And I've got my little polar bears here. This was Stephen's one here, the big guy. And then I got this at the Christmas fair the other day. And we've got a couple of little elephants that my mom got us. And up here, a little Christmassy thing as well that my mom got us. These windows are disgusting again, so they need done. Um, so yeah, there we have it. I'm gonna get in the shower soon. I'm actually just having a little bit of lunch. Um, yesterday, I went to Keith's Corner Shop, which is near where I work, to get an iron brew. I'll show you, actually, it's in the fridge. And ignore my washing in the hall here. Because uh, basically, Stephen loves iron brew and they've brought out an, a limited edition original recipe. Right, so iron brew is like a Scottish drink. You can't get it, well, you can get it some places, but you can get this limited edition one. Um, but this is the original recipe because I've changed it a few times over the years due to sugar tax. Um, so yeah, he's loving this. He's had some of it last night. Um, so anyway, I went to Keith's Corner Shop and they had these little pot rice on three for a pound. So I got some for work to have in. It's really handy to have something quick. And that is what I'm having right now. A little pot rice. It's nearly finished um, and I'm just having some water. 
and then I'm going to jump in the shower and my friend Stacey's going to come around at half two and we're going to go walk. Uh, that was just literally planned just there but it's nice sometimes to do that. So we're going to walk to B&M um, and I'm going to get a few things. I need to put this washer away, I need to iron some work clothes and things like that and then I'll do some wrapping later on tonight. Alright so I'm ready. I've just got on a grey top. You've probably seen me wear this a thousand times. A little ASOS necklace um, and then my black short furry Primark number which is a reversible coat. It's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. Um, so basically I'm waiting on Stacey. I've not put any makeup on because I've decided to have like a no makeup day. Um, just because like I wear it all the time and obviously I'm going back into another four days at work so I think like to give my skin a day off is a good idea. So yeah, the tree's starting to look very cute in this light. I can't wait until tonight to see it all glistening. Um, but anyway, we are going to head off once she gets here to the shops. Just a little walk along to b and &M. I'm also thinking we can go to Tim Hortons and get hot chocolate um, and maybe a charity shop as well. So we'll see how it goes but I will bring the camera along as well. So I am back from the shops and from my little outing with Stacey. It was so, so nice. I've been back about half an hour. I've gotten my gym jams, nice and cosy with some ridiculous socks that don't even go with the outfit, but never mind. Um, and yeah, we had such a nice afternoon. We just did like lots of different shopping bits and we went to Tim Hortons and I got some food. So I'll insert a little clip of that just now because other than that, like that was the only clip that I got when we were out and about because it's just nice to just enjoy yourself and relax and not worry about filming um but anyway i'm back at the flat i've got the christmas tree on let's see i'll turn this off because i've got the big light on because i'm dealing with like presents and things um but here we have it it is so pretty i love it so basically what i'm doing now is just pulling out like everything i bought and i thought i would show you so I'll switch this back on and we'll have a little look. There are certain things I can't show because people might watch. So this is like all the stuff that I can show. We went to so many random shops. But anyway, um, let's just start. I got this in Poundland, a little balty sauce. Balty, balty, I don't know how you say that. Uh, Stephen and I like a curry and it's really handy to have a jar in just to pop with some chicken and some rice. I got these because I've not had Reese's in ages and I was feeling treating myself. Um, so yeah, I think I'll have like one of these with a cup of tea tonight and leave the other one for another day. I picked up an order at the m and Simply Food Hall, which is this Nooks Rev de Mill Lip Balm. This isn't focusing. Basically, it's the Nooks Rev de Mill Lip Balm because my mum loves this stuff and she actually made a little special request for Christmas time. So that's going in with one of our little mini parcels. I got myself a sparkly cat tinsel headband like how incredible is this basically we don't have a christmas jumper day at work but we're allowed to wear a headband on it's either the 10th or the 12th i'm not too sure i'll need to find that out so i'm gonna rock this guy all day because it's really cute and it was only 350 in boots Um, i got these as part of my brother-in-law's gift so my sister's boyfriend tom well not boyfriend while well, they're married uh my sister's husband tom he is getting a little gift from us and he loves after eight so this is his little extra um i also got one of these because i was running low on my concealer so it's the maybelline razor eye which is fab because I needed that and I totally forgot until I saw it on the shelf. Um, I got my mum and dad the most gorgeous Christmas card. I already had one for them but this is just so perfect that I had to buy it. It says mum and dad and then it's like a little woodland with some bears and it says of all the precious gifts of this bright Christmas season, family means the most. And that's just the truth. You know, you could take everything away and it wouldn't matter as long as you had your family. Um, so yeah, this was spot on. I got this in m &S. And this I am so excited about. So if you know me, you know that I absolutely love the Aldi cleansers. And this is basically a selection of them all. So the first one I got was this original hot cloth cleanser. Um, and I loved that. And then I couldn't get it again. So I ended up with this one, which I still absolutely love and I still have. And then the other day I picked up this one. So the only one I haven't tried is the Rose hot cloth cleanser. But these are incredible. And do you know what I love about this? Is these are perfect for traveling. So when I saw this in Aldi, I was with Stacey, she got one as well, um, I had to buy it. So it was 7 99 but you know, a total bargain for what you're getting to be honest. Um, so £2 for each cleanser, so yeah, I love that. And then I got these, these are for lunch at work and they're really delicious. So Aldi do them, um, they're new, so you should try them if you go to your local Aldi. And it's little like multi-pack bites and you get hummus, tomato and basil, lentil, sea salt and quinoa, sour cream and chive. 
these two are my favourite. Um, but I do like the sour cream and chive as well. So yeah, that was everything. I picked up a little selection of things. Um, I also got some other things from B&M. This is not working. I hope that's not going to fall. But they are already in the cupboard. I've just realised I've potentially got some Christmas presents there that people can't see. Yeah, so they're in the cupboard. Um, and I can't be bothered getting them out. But basically I got some mug shots for work. And I got a big diluting juice from B&M. And I got a Santa sack for Stephen's parents' gifts. Which I'll show you because it's really cute actually. Um, so basically this is a tear. And I've put all their little gifts in here. Whoa, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> this is really difficult. Anyway, all their gifts are in there. It says special delivery. Special overnight delivery. Do not open until the 25th of December. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking for something like this, it ties at the top. Uh, it was from B&M. And this is a card for Stephen's gran and grandpa. And that's their little gift. And I need to write his parents family card thing for all of them so yeah that's pretty much it and here's our little polar bear friend and uh now i have to do a few other things i have some washing to hang up um washing to hang up dishes to do ironing to do for back to work tomorrow because this is my one day off which is just delightful uh and i'd quite like to edit this video so Quite a lot to do and it's already 8 o'clock but I'm going to give it a good bash. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up because it just lets me know that you enjoy this kind of content. Naturally, I like filming around Christmas time because I always feel like there's quite a lot going on and it's quite an exciting time and I really enjoy watching vlogmas videos and all sorts like that. So I've been catching up on a few um, on my subscription feed and... I would love to one day be able to do vlogmas, that would be the dream goal if I got to the point where I was like maybe doing my own job or I wasn't working as much, um, I would love to do it. But anyway, I'm going to go crack on with the long list of things that I need to do and uh, then maybe at the end of it I can chill for a bit. And Stephen's out tonight so he's working um, and he works in like a club in the winter. So I won't see him until the morning. Well, I won't see him at all because I'll say like, good morning, goodbye when I go to work and he'll be sleeping because he'll be shattered because he'll be working late. So yeah, I won't see him until Sunday night really because it'll be the same tomorrow night as so he's working at the club again. So yeah, it's a bit rubbish. It's like nights on my own, but you know what? I love my own company, so I'm not complaining and I'm going to get on outlander while I do the jobs that I need to do and I'll watch some YouTube while I do the dishes. I wanted to share with you my beauty advent calendar. So every year my mum is really kind and generous and buys my sister and I the m and beauty advent calendar. So this year it says the gift of beauty and when you open it up it looks really pretty. It's like a star with some decorations around it. Um, so yeah I wanted to show you first of all what I've got so far. So day one was the Avida Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair, which is amazing because I don't really have anything for my hair. It's not something that I really uh, look after as much, I guess. So this is perfect and it's a full size. So I'm really excited to try that. And then day two was the Ico Lash Alert Mini Mascara, which is fantastic. I love the Ico Mascaras. Uh, day three is probably the one I'm, whoa, the one I'm least excited about. Uh, it's Targeted Treatment for Eyes and Lips Formula, which is name and ace brand. Um, but I might use it blow my eyes, we'll see. And then day four was the Alpha H cleanser, the balancing cleanser. I'm excited about that because I've heard really good things about Alpha H. And the next one, day five, was Ren. It's a revitalizing night cream. So I'm also pretty excited about that. So, so far so good. Four things out of five, which I'm loving. And I haven't opened six yet, so I thought we would do it on camera. So I've opened the box, <laughs> but I have not peeked inside yet. It says party eye perfection. The shape of it is making me wonder, is this an eyeliner? So let's give this a go. Yes, it is an eyeliner, fantastic. So what have we got? Ah, it's autograph, nice one, and it's a coal eyeliner. That's really cool because I actually only have one eyeliner, I think. Um, I think it's a wet and wild one for like on the actual lash line, so this is perfect for the upper lash line. So yeah, this is my little advent calendar and what I'll do is I'll just show you it throughout December as I'm going to vlog. I'm hoping to start weekly vlogs from tomorrow, no, 
from Monday uh, because I have two days off next week so it'll be a good weekly vlog hopefully so I'll share this with you as we go. Good evening everyone, it's currently Saturday night, so the day after I filmed this video I'm sitting with a hot chocolate wrapped in my blanket and I am watching Outlander. Uh, so I don't know what episode I'm on now, oh episode episode 6 of season 1. So I've seen it all before but I'm re-watching it and I've got my little Christmas tree on here and it kind of cuts the view slightly but as you can see it's just a tiny smidgen. Um, but yeah I'm going to enjoy my lovely Clippers hot chocolate with milk. Um, it is delicious, I've tasted it already and I just wanted to say thank you so so much for watching this I am about to edit it after this hot chocolate so this is the end of the video that you will be watching but thank you for tuning in, I really appreciate it and I'll be back to weekly vlogging starting on Monday so there will be a vlog up um, in like a week's time I guess so I hope that you tune in for that and have a great week and that you're having an amazing weekend and I'll see you soon and meanwhile, I'm going to go and enjoy this.